This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So your girl has been tired, okay? Some of y'all know I'm six months pregnant. My energy has just been low, but these nails still gotta get done. So I'm gonna take a tip from my girl Femi and I'm doing the lazy girl method. So I'm gonna use some full cover tips, poly gel, chrome powder, you know, we just gonna make it do what it do. So these are my natural nails. I've already took off my previous set and I'm just gonna do my prep as usual. First by pushing back my cuticles. And then using the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to scrape up any of that dead skin. And then going in with my cuticle bed, this is the flame bed and I'm just gonna work that around my cuticle area. And then finally I go in with this round manicure bed and I'll be sure to leave links to everything that I use down below. So next I'm gonna take my hand file and I'm just gonna file down the free edge. So after all of the nail prep, I'm just gonna go in with these full cover nail tips. I got these from Zule Nails. So they are pretty thin, but I love the length, I love the shape, and we're gonna work with these today. So I just picked out my sizes and just making sure that everything fits from sidewall to sidewall and the fit is good. So now I'm gonna take my e-file and my medium drill bit and I'm just gonna etch the inside of the nail tip. I wanna make sure to kinda etch it where it's gonna touch my natural nail. So after doing that for all of the nail tips, I'm just gonna once again make sure that the fit is how I want it, even around the cuticle area. Typically I have to file the cuticle areas, but these fit pretty good, so I didn't have to do that. But I am gonna file the outside of the tip around the cuticle area just to kind of make that slope um, so it can just look as flush as possible. That's one thing I don't like about this method is that sometimes you can't get those cuticles to be perfect. So I'm just doing the best that I can here. Now I'm just gonna put some slip solution into my dampen dish and I'm just using 91% alcohol as my slip solution. So next I'm gonna go in with my nail prep products and this is the Mia Secret Nail Prep. Just gonna apply this to all of my nails. This is a nail dehydrator. It gets rid of all of the oils and all that stuff on your nails. And then I'm gonna go in with the acid-free primer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a gel base coat and today I'm just gonna use the McCart gel base coat. Apply a nice thin even layer to all of my nails. And go ahead and cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. All right, so because I am gonna use this full cover tip method, I'm gonna use the Kiara Sky Flash Cure Lamp. This has been the easiest lamp to use when I do this method of nails, just because sometimes you do have to hold the tip and cure at the same time, so this open sides concept of their nail lamp is really good for that. So this is the poly gel I'm gonna use today, McCart Clear Poly Gel, one of my favorite clear poly gels ever. So I'm just gonna take a small amount and put it into the area that is etched. This is kinda touch and go, I don't really know how much to put in here because this is my first time doing this method with poly gel. Usually I will use builder gel, but you know, I thought this would be easier. So once I get an amount in there, I'm just gonna press it onto my nail. And as you guys can see, I have too much poly gel. That nail is sitting up too high. So I'm gonna take some of the poly gel out. And like I said before, it's kind of a delicate balance of how much poly gel you need. I learned that you need a very small amount, like you really don't need much. So we're gonna try this again. and that looks amazing. 
I love that when I use the poly gel, it kind of makes the tip stay in place. It kind of gives like a suction to your nails. So it feels like it's, you know, it's really sturdy, like it's gonna stay in place. So once I kind of get that the way that I want, I clean around the sides and the cuticles. And now I'm just gonna flash cure that in this lamp. And then I make sure to rotate my finger from side to side just to make sure that the light gets everywhere. So this is what it looks like after curing. And I'm just gonna repeat the same thing for all of the nails. And I found that the poly gel holds these tips so well that I don't even have to hold them while I'm curing. So I went ahead and just used my larger lamp just to make sure I get that full cure. And I went ahead and did that for 60 seconds. So this is after getting all of the tips on and they look good, okay? <laughs> I love the shape of these tips and the length, like it's just everything. So now I'm just going to do some light filing, kind of cleaning up those tips because they kind of have that jagged edge on it. And then I'm gonna use the 180 side of my file to take away the shine from these nail tips so that I can you know, do my gel polish and stuff without it having a chance to peel or anything like that. So this is after prepping all of the nail tips and now I'm just taking some paper towel and alcohol and I'm wiping off all of the dust. They do feel kind of thin, um, they still kind of bend and they don't really feel that secure so I want to kind of add some strength to them. So I'm gonna use the Kiara Sky Builder Gel and I'm just gonna put a couple layers of this on top. So I'm just making sure to kind of just do a nice even layer of it. And just making sure to float a little bit of the gel on the tip area just to add some strength. So I went ahead and cured that first layer in my nail lamp for 60 seconds and then I moved on to the next nail. And this is after putting two layers of the Builder Gel on all of the nails and they look and feel so much better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off that tacky layer. And at this point, I should have done a little bit of filing and buffing, but I thought that it looked okay. I mean, they turned out all right, you know, but I would still recommend kind of buffing them a little bit. But all in all, they feel so much stronger, and I feel like I can definitely wear these as I would any other nail extension. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the black gel polish from Madam Glam, and this is called Perfect Black. And I am just gonna do one coat of this on each nail. I love this gel polish. This is one of my favorite blacks because it's so opaque and you can just really get a nice, decent coverage with one coat. So this is after painting all the nails and curing. And now I'm gonna go in with the Kiara Sky Rub On Chrome Powder. And I chose these beautiful colors. We have this turquoise blue and gold. And I'm gonna start off with the gold at the tip and I'm just going to rub that in. And I just love their chrome powders. Like the color payoff is just amazing. So then I'm gonna do the blue and we're gonna do some ombre action. And that blue is just, uh, it's to die for. <laughs> it's so pretty. I 
I kind of wish I hadn't gone so far down with the goal, but you know, we live and we learn. So after dusting that off, that is how that looks. And now I'm just gonna move on to the next nail, covering this one with the blue. And then I did the gold on the index fingernail. Shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> so now I'm gonna seal it all in with the Kiara Sky rub on top coat and just, you know, seal in all of this chrome so I don't accidentally rub it off. And I apply that to all of the nails and cured. And this is what it's looking like so far. Oh, it is so pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing some nail art on my middle finger. So I'm going in with the Kiara Sky Velvet Gel Top Coat. I find that it's easier for me to draw on a matte surface. So that is what I'm gonna do. And this is what it looks like after curing. So taking some of that black gel polish and the alpha striper brush, and this is what the tip of that looks like. I'm gonna do a hand-drawn Chanel logo, and this takes me a long time to do hand-drawn art. So yes, I have sped this up, but you know, it's all in practice and I'm still practicing, but I do like how it turned out. So after finally getting it the way that I want, I went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm gonna rub on some of that gold chrome powder. And because I used the matte top coat for the background, the chrome is just gonna stick to the black gel polish. And it just, oh, I love how this turned out. <laughs> it just turned out so well. It's very rare when stuff turns out the way that you want it, like the way you see it in your head. So that is what that is looking like. Oh, just gorgeous. And of course, you know I need some bling. So I'm using the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Top Coat. If you guys didn't see my post, um, she did give me a coupon that is good through the 12th. So I'll be sure to leave that down below. And I just go in with the bling gel first and then I put the top coat on top. And then I put my crystals into the wet gel and the crystals stay forever, like forever. <laughs> Um, on my ring fingernail, I'm gonna go in with this Chanel inspired chain and I'm just gonna put that down the center of the nail. And this was after applying the bling gel and top coat. So then I just put a light coat of top coat on top of that chain to kind of seal it in and to hope that it doesn't fade. And I went ahead and cured that. For my index fingernail, I'm taking a small bead of clear acrylic and I'm gonna place this tiger charm onto it. I got this charm from Iridescent Nails. I'll see if I can find a link, but I got this charm a long time ago, but I thought it was so fitting for this very gold and regal nail design. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, so finally I'm gonna go in with the Poochie Snails top coat and to seal in that gold chrome powder on the Chanel logo and to bring back that shiny hollow blue chrome powder effect. And then I went ahead and put some on my index finger as well. I wanted it to be a little more shiny and I also wanted to put some gel top coat around the bead of acrylic so it kind of blends in and doesn't really stand out that much. 
So this is what the nails look like after doing my final cure. And I just go ahead and apply my cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. These nails, oh, so cute. So shiny. And they were inspired by my new handbag. Hubby surprised me with a push present, or as he says, carrying the baby present. <laughs> new bag day. <laughs> new bag day. Oh my God. Stop it. So yeah, I was so excited. I can't believe that he bought me this. In the past, he wasn't too happy about the money I spent on handbags. So for him to go all out and give me my first brand new Chanel bag, I was just like, okay. But you know, I'm carrying a whole baby here. So yes, I deserve a Chanel bag. <laughs> But anyway, this method was so easy. It kind of made doing these nails um, not as daunting of a task. It really didn't take me as long as it usually does. And I love how these turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.